All right, what's going on, guys? All right, today I'm going to talk about something very easy. Is what am I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Why, why to start a business? Not everyone should start a business. And before I move forward, I need to give a disclaimer. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your business consultant. And you need to consult with a professional prior to making any of these decisions. And I'm just some guy out for you too. So before moving forward, you know, why do anyone want to start a business, right? Business is one of the hardest thing to do. It has a lot of downside. There's some pros to it. There's some cons to it. And why would you want to get into your own business? Well, if you decide to start your own business, it's your company and you're the CEO of the company. And I'll give you 10 reasons why. And the first one is each day at work, you'll be motivating because you are the company. You get the ultimate reward of the company. It's yours. So if you don't have that fire burning in you, to start the business and be motivated every day, you should not go into business. You should not own your own business because a business owner has to be self-motivated. They can't be laying in bed and hope other people do their jobs for them. Um, you know, people ask, who is your boss if you're the owner? Well, the government and God. That's that's your boss, no matter where you go. Um, and number another reason why you start your own business, you're following your passion. You know, maybe the job you have is your passion, but that business owner or that owner is not treating you well, and you know you can do better, and you're very passionate about your job. I know people who made millions cutting hair, but just they're passionate. They're hairstylists and they become famous hairstylists. And they follow their passion. They're the CEO of their own company. If you're one of those people that can follow your passion, start your own business. N number three is you can pursue social justice and support nonprofits. You know, one of the most fulfilling things I can do is donate money to uh, nonprofits. Um, I donate a lot of equipment, a lot of items to them. It's very rewarding. Now, did I probably get screwed over because they didn't give me a proper tax form? Yeah. Did they come back? Did they come and just take it and didn't really say thank you? Well, yeah. You know, Habitat of Humanity, they came, they picked up the stuff. Um, and they really never said thank you or gave me a letter or anything like that. So I probably won't ever donate to them again. But number four, you can achieve financial independence. You know, with the reward of owning your own business, you really can control how much money you make by how much effort you put in. At some companies, more effort you put in, they don't reward you with a financial gain. You could be a field service member for a diesel mechanic company and you can knock out $200,000, $300,000 worth of work in a week, but they only pay you $25 an hour. You know, you don't get that financial gain as you would in if you're self-employed. That That is the pros and cons of that. Now, should you just do it for that? No. You need to pick the reason why and what you can do to improve it. Now, number five is one of my favorites is you can control your lifestyle and your schedule. If you want to take a day off, you can take a day off. But remember, if you don't have employees, if you take a day off, you aren't making any money that day unless you have a passive income through your business. And that is possible. Now, it's very flexible if you start your own business, but a lot of people suck at time management. So if you're bad at time management, guess what? Stay away 
from owning your own business. If you can't wake up at a certain time, and you, then you shouldn't start your own business. You're not even reliable for your own self. So don't start your own business if you can't wake up. Test yourself. Can you wake up at 3 a.m. to do a call? Because if you own your own business and it's like a drop shipping or something like that, sometimes you have to wake up 3, 4, 2 in the morning to go talk to people overseas about your items you're trying to purchase. You know, this there's a plus and downside. And number six, you can start from scratch. There's no restriction. You can pretty much start your business any way you want to. Um, because it's your business. No one can tell you how to start your business, run your business, because it's yours. Now, you have to follow the local regulation and guidelines set by the government and local authorities. But that's it. And they're very lenient where I'm at in Texas. You know, you just pretty much make sure you pay your bills, pay your taxes, and they pretty much leave you alone to run your own business. As long as you're not following no, no, and medicals, HIPAA violation, and make sure that everyone is up to standards for the hospitals if they want to go in. It's, it's not the easiest thing getting to hospitals as a contractor because whatever the hospital demands, you have to do because if you don't want the COVID shot, well, you can't work in healthcare at all as a contractor. You have to get the COVID shot. It sucks. That's one of the local regulations. You know, number seven is you get tax benefits. You know, you need to talk to accounts, financial planners if you really want to know more. But just the advantage of owning a small business, it gives you a great tax advantage. And number eight, you have true job security because no one can fire you from your own business. You can fire yourself, but what's that going to do? You're going to just hire yourself back on? So you get a true job security. No matter what company you go for, even if it's owned by your family, they still can fire you. You know, the likelihood of you working for your family and then firing you is you know, low, but they still can fire you. It, it's not a job security. There's no job that is 100% secure unless you own your own business. And then number nine is you become an expert in a broad range of skills if you own your own company because you have to know how to do everything if you start your own business. You, you have to know how to do your inventory. You know how, how to make proper HR decisions and inventory management and customer service relationship in your industry. So it's not that easy because you go in there and you have to know how to do all this stuff. And it's a very high learning curve. So if you want things like that, you have to, guess what? Work for it. No one's going to just give it to you. And you're going to have to learn it. You have to read. You're going to have to read books and get your knowledge up because if you don't get your knowledge up, you cannot really run a business because you're going to make poor HR decisions. Now, number 10 is the most, it's the favorite one for me is you can pretty much sell any product. You can be creative. You can do any service you want. It's your concept and you can make money however you want. And as long as people pay for it, you know, like and subscribe. That's all I got. You know, that's that's my my two cents on why I start a business. You know, it's just a lot more flexible and no one can fire you. It, it's pretty, pretty great if you make it out of the, the phase where you can afford it. All right. Have a great day.